Here we have a disappointed Xavier. Tell us how upsetty spaghetti you are, Xavier. I'm as upsetty spaghetti as your mom's sweaty kneecaps. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're cooking fucking rats. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our rats. Uh, they are not, in fact, homestyle red potato salads. They are rats. That fridge is open, unfortunately. It's now closed. So we got our rats, and the next thing we're gonna need is the sink. And we have the sink because the sink doesn't move. We don't really care about food safe here in uh, 50 Cal Donuts, Milson Culinary Empire, because food safe is for the unbased, and we stay based. What we're going to start off with is what we've done previously is, oh, they actually started to freeze. Cool. Is, as you saw before, we, you know, cleaned the carcasses out, uh, but we didn't really clean them. We, we took, removed all the things we don't want to eat for the most part, but we do want to make sure that these are clean. And we also want to thaw them, so we're going to run some hot water, and we're just going to kind of give these a rinse off, thaw them a little bit, get some last bits of hair fat, bone fragments, whatever else you don't want to surprise you in your uh, gopher stew or whatever the hell you want to make at home. Uh, we're delicious. not making stew because I don't really feel like it. Delicious gopher roast. Honestly, you could stew these and it would actually be really good. You'd make your stew like an actual stew and then just throw these in there and they'd sort of dissolve into the stew. Admire the damage that 22 does to this shit. Next what we're going to do is... Realize that I don't have a tea towel available. We don't do perfection here at uh, the Culinary Empire because, well, perfection is for the non-based and we stay based. This stay is based. fucked. These are fucked. Uh, we fucked these guys up and then fucked them up some more and now they're going to get fucked in the fucked pan in the oven, which is also fucked. So right here uh, we have the humane kill that went through its ribcage. We're gonna put that down right there. We have the one with the kidneys. <laughs> I don't know where it was shot, but I think that one's the headshot one. Uh, yes, this is the uh, JFK, and this is the amputee. The uh, no, that's a perforated bowel. You're the reason I do drugs. <laughs> okay, so now that the Calgary rats have been put in the bowl, pan, whatever. So there's different ways you can do this. I don't have apples on me at the moment, but there, you can get, a, a, what I like to do is do a slice of Granny Smith, mm -hmm. and you would take the slice and you put it in the ribcage, and then you just like cover it in just butter, and it will probably kill you for heart attack, because butter, but it tastes good. And you throw some cinnamon on there too, it's nice. What we have is uh, some rather barbaric combinations. We have garlic salt, basil leaves, basil leaves. Got Montreal steak by steak, steak. Yes. Fuck it. Be bald. Are you gay? Apparently I'm gay. Yeah, so we, we just have the three. Uh, there were more, but camera guys got an interesting shot. So, I think we'll do this differently for each one. Which one? What do you think? Mm, I want, uh, uh, for mine, I want uh, yeah, you, spicy Montreal. That's this one, right? Oh, you're going to give me the one with the busted ass elbow. Oh, you shot. <laughs> okay, so you want Montreal? Yeah, what Montreal. Else do you want? Spicy Montreal. Just throw it all on there. I want it all. You want literally. Okay, so one of these is just going to be an abomination of spices that would make any uh, good proper Italian family cry. And so we're going to start with garlic salt. And we're going to make sure that it's actually ready to sprinkle. Put it to the basil leaves. Give just throwing random shit in random places and hoping it works. Uh, Vegeta for people who can't handle protein. Chili powder. And then we're going to rub our eyes with it. You know, fun fact, if you take an airsoft claymore and you open it up and instead of BBs you fill it with chili powder, it act counts as home defense. And lastly, the Montreal steak spice, the God's own spice. The coup de gras. Literally just fixes everything in life. It's like the ketchup, but it's actually has some class to it. It's ketchup of the spice world, but it's better. There we go. So we have the, oh God, this smells. <laughs> oh, now that. That, oh, hang on, I gotta do the autofocus. Oh, wrong way. There we go. You can zoom too. 
Oh yeah, we can. Learning camera techniques every day. Oh, what else do we got? Oh, I know. Right, Pretty sure we're going to hell now. Dude, I shot clean and intend to eat a gopher. Do you really think I'm going anywhere else? Yeah, here we got the close-up of the... I'm gonna laugh if this turns out super fucking good. Like, it's already sweet, and now you're making it orange we tang it's flavored? Sweet. We just know that fucking Christopher Columbus thought it was sweet. But he also thought that North America was Indian. So. Not a great... Uh, yeah, yeah, not, not the, the greatest. Um, but he was the spice guy. No, the people... You just were... murdered that with fucking Tang, bro! Okay! I don't want to put it back, you know. Go for Tang. It's good. It's good for you. Yes, this is the... This is the money shot right here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've added a couple chunks of butter. It won't really spread because you know it's... There's not a lot of friction here. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to add a little bit of garlic So You're going to have to edit out a lot of unnecessary zooming and focus fixing. I'm going to edit out a lot of unnecessary dialogue, too. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put a little bit of garlic salt on here, just because, you know, we like, we, we like, we like garlic. Garlic butter. Um, we have put chili powder on this one, so I'm going to refrain from putting it on this one. I am going to put a bit of basil. A little bit more basil faulty. Basil faulty. Is it basil faulty? Is it basil faulty? Yeah, just gonna put a little bit and call that good. Uh, I should have been preheating the oven this whole time, so I will do that now. I hate my life. <laughs> Don't we all? How many? How many blinks is it for help? How many blinks is it for send help? I'm blinking. I'm blinking lots. There's lots of blinking going on. You don't know I'm Morse code. Than, I'm, I'm blinking more than home right now. Um, fuck it. Okay, so we normally would... Uh, okay, so we're going to start with Liam's gourmet thing. And we're going to make sure we don't mix it with the tang, because apparently putting every spice in the fucking kitchen on one animal is okay. But not tang. Maybe line. I don't want to go for that taste like orange juice. So if we get a close up of the, the tin foil being wrapped because people enjoy seeing that shit and it means people aren't looking at my face and no one wants to look at that, let's be honest. So we're going to rotate it like this mostly because I feel like it and I, I don't really, I didn't do geometry or whatever. I, I don't like triangles. <laughs> that Pythagorean theorem has a perforated bowel. Would you like to experience oh. this rectal? No, but you like it. <laughs> How many blinks? How many blinks do I need? I would happily cuddle with Kalashnikov's protection any night. Okay, so now that we've wrapped this squirrel... Um, it only took us like 20 minutes, you slow ass. What's the matter? Jump cuts are for me. I wrapped the tang because Liam apparently can't handle the sight of orange. Not a Trump fan, I don't think. Okay, so this one, we're gonna fold it like that because we feel like it. And uh, also body bags, if you're gonna wrap a body, it's a similar concept. And you fold it, and then you throw it in the Hudson's River and hope the cops don't find it. So now we're gonna go like that, and we're gonna roll this bitch up. And we're gonna. Uh, do that, we're gonna, that one kind of looks like a blunt, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you take it, this little joint with the wrap on both ends and you blow it up, upscale that shit, you know, Snoop Dogg, smoke weed every day. I hope that that little fucking bit that you put in your mouth gives you gopher AIDS. <laughs> I hope I get gopher AIDS. I hope I die in as many horrible ways as you can possibly come up with. Because anything is better than living in a world with these two fucks. Man, if you pulled up at the function with a joint rolled Next. like that, I'm kicking you the fuck out. Yeah, dude, I smoke fireworks. The fuck do you smoke? <laughs> Alright, so then we're gonna bend this like that because it's too long for the air fire and we're just gonna... And then we're going to take this one and, and this one. And 
and that's good. And then we just stuff it in. Uh, and then we turn it on, and we go like that. We go for 400 at 20 minutes, and we press start. We probably need to actually close it, but... Yeah, well... Like that. Menu. 400 degrees. Can we up the degrees? No, we can't. So we'll just up the time because I don't want that disease. We'll go 25 minutes. You First already second. smoked the forbidden gopher pack, my guy. You already have the disease. <laughs> so, we have finished with the air fryer. Normally you would use gloves, but I'm too dead inside to feel anything. But that's the fucking tangy one, too. Which one? The one that's all juicy. Okay, we'll start with this middle one. Open him right up. No, I don't think so. I think this might be the one that's... Yeah, this is the one that's supposed to be good. Oh, man, that looks cooked to me. I mean, it, it, it smells all right. Or no, this is, this is yours. Yeah, there's chili bin there. That's the one that has all the spices on it. Hell yeah, that's, that's my bad boy. I'll, I'll get a plate for it. <laughs> Fucking... Oh, the meal of champions, everybody. <laughs> Take a good look at that. Alright, and which one is this? This is the one that was actually somewhat well thought out. Yeah. Okay. And this is the Tang one. I'm actually this most excited about this one. <laughs> Me too. I really want to try this. I think I put too much tin for it. What is the smell here? Oh, it's got the kidneys in there too. You got some tang flavored kidneys. Oh, <laughs> Alright, so this is yours and this is mine, and so we're uh, gonna rip a leg off, I think. Oh, yeah, that's done. I've never felt bad for a gopher in my life, but now I do. You're the one that fucking spiced yours. You just rip a kidney and what'd you do? You're supposed to take the whole ass leg. Dude. There's a way to eat this, so you'd like wrap your paper towel if you're if it's too hot around the leg and then you eat it like, kind of like a chicken. I just ripped off a piece of flesh. <sighs> Regretting my life decisions right now. If you hate that one, you can have that one. Not bad. What are your thoughts? It's too gamey. It's very gamey. I'm just kind of bleeping out, so. What? Oh, okay. Homie? I'm good. I'm good. What happened? I thought about the squelch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just like cut in that footage if we have that footage. <laughs> no, I wasn't recording at that point. Oh. Unfortunately. I ripped a squirrel in half. It was dead. Just to clarify. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you, Chief. I'm not a fan of gopher. Well, then that's three gophers for me to eat. I might be taking this to class. <laughs> try mine's, mine's not bad. Like, it's, it's got good spices on it. I just don't, I'm not a fan of the meat flavor. Like, the flavor of the actual meat. You got a little weird, man. It's like one of my favorite things on the planet. I don't think this end got a lot of spice. No, that's good. Um... And then the last one, of course, uh, we're going to try the tang. Oh yeah, it smells like orange. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I think it would be better to marinate it. Well, like if you left it in tang powder for like a few hours. Oh, okay. Like dry age it in tang powder. Put some water in there too. <laughs>
Because I think it doesn't quite penetrate the meat enough. The taste is there, and I think it could actually be really good. I will be eating all of these, but I won't do it all on camera because you guys don't want to watch that. You are on an entirely different level, my friend. I give my full kudos to you. I thought I would be able to handle it if I smothered it in spices. No, that shit is weird. Alright, well, uh, that was that was Calgary Legal Rat, otherwise known as the North American Ground Squirrel. Uh, overall thoughts and opinions, I really enjoyed the uh, spice blend with uh, Montreal Steak Spice and Basil. I thought that was really good. Uh, Liam's concoction of all the spices uh, turned out to be not that bad. Um, obviously, I haven't eaten that much of it, so I'll eat some more of it later, but I, it turned out pretty good to me. The whole method, I've never air fried squirrels before, but... <clears throat> It uh, worked out pretty well. Uh, as far as the tang goes, I was expecting it to be like... Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, the, the tang was surprisingly good. Like, the little bits that were coated on the skin, like, there's a little bit of, like, a, like a film of the, the tang kind of caramelized a little bit, and I, it was good. Um, I think it would be better to, like, make, like, actually make tang, like, make a bag of really strong tang and put this the body in the bag and leave it for like 24 hours and then cook it but and then probably sprinkle some more on before you cook it to get that uh, nice film but I, I think that one has potential I, I highly recommend that everyone try this at some point in their life even if you don't like it it is it's cool to be able to say you've done it um, I really enjoy it I've been doing this for years and it's it's good and it's also just it's really nice to you know, go out, harvest your own food, and uh, process it by yourself. You know, it helps practice being self-sufficient, which is something that is seen less and less these days. Yeah. But uh, that's it for the video. Uh, as always, stay based, my friends.